Hey guys, so today I want to share with you guys one of my most favorite ways of traveling around Japan and if it's not the cheapest, it definitely is one of the cheapest ways to get around Japan and the ticket is called the Seishun Juhachikipu in Japanese and in English it goes along the lines of Youthful 18 Ticket I'm not quite sure why they added the youthful and the 18 in there because no matter how old you are, anyone can buy the ticket so if you get this ticket, it gives you unlimited rides on the local and rapid trains on the JR line. So for the ticket, it's around 11,850 yen. So it comes to around 2,370 yen a day. So that's really cheap. Imagine going from Tokyo to Osaka or like Tokyo to Hokkaido. That's amazing. And the ticket looks like this. So you can get unlimited rides on the local and rapid trains for 5 days or 5 times. However, it doesn't have to be consecutive days. And also you can share this with your friends and family and use the ticket. Just remember you have to use it up before it expires. The ticket is seasonal so it only goes on sale 3 times a year. So the youthful 18 ticket is very similar to the JR Pass. However, only foreigners with the tourist visa on their passports can purchase the JR Pass. So I thought I would share this video with those of you who aren't on your visa, um, on your tourist visa in Japan. I think this ticket is great for budget travelers and it's great if you want to see more of the local Japan or if you just want to have a spontaneous trip, just jump on the train and see where it takes you. I actually personally used this ticket a few times before. Um, once I went from Tokyo all the way to Hiroshima, it took me around, I think, 16 hours. So that's a lot of time compared to the JR Pass where you would just use the bullet train. However, I mean, time equals money, right? So I mean, you sacrifice time on this ticket. However, it's only 2,000 yen. It only cost me 2,000 yen to get from Tokyo all the way to Hiroshima. So that was really cool because I could stop along many train stations, like local train stations that you would never stop at. And I also went there by myself, so it was a great way to see the local areas of Japan and just get on and off a lot of the trains. The local trains do take a lot more time to get to the destination, however you can see views that no other transportation method can offer. You can buy the tickets at any JR ticket offices or travel service centers. They are mostly located nearby the train ticket gates so it's very easy to find. You can't put the ticket through the automatic gates so instead you have to pass through the man gates and show the ticket to the station staff. You can also buy it on the ticket machines however they don't have an English one yet. But if you follow what I pressed on the Japanese one it should be quite straightforward. Press for how many tickets you would like, one is for 5 days, and just confirm and then pay the money. So here are some of my very old photos when I used this ticket to travel around Japan visiting some friends and family. So I hope you guys found this video helpful and let me know down below where you have been if you have used this ticket before. Also check out my previous video about one of the newest bridges that opened up near Mount Fuji. So I'm really glad a lot of you guys liked the previous video. The place is still pretty new so it's still quite unknown. So I hope you guys can get in before the crowd does. And thank you for sharing your favorite place to see Mount Fuji from. And thank you guys for always leaving your comments. I always like to read it. So thank you and I will see you in the next video.